Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Ten Minute Reviews. <laughs> Crazy one here is Freya, my fuzzy co-star. I'm Jason. We're bringing you today. <laughs> We're bringing you today's video. Whew, I think, eventually, we're bringing you today's video. Okay, wow. All right, everybody, so please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as we say every single time. Little family channel, just me, the fuzzy one, the wife. Love to talk about books. We're going to keep doing this no matter what, but we would appreciate any support that you guys might want to give us, which includes likes and especially subscriptions. Um, so today I want to talk about an author and a book and a series that we've talked about in the past. I want to talk about John Van Stry, who has multiple uh, pen names, uh, Jan Stryman, Jan Van Stry, um, and his series, Portals of Infinity. And I want to talk about book three. So I'm not going to talk about the usual four categories that I usually talk about. I'm just going to talk about book three in particular. Now, guys, this is uh, this series is a little bit older one. I mean, I think he wrote the first one in like 2012, or published it at least in like 2012 or something like that. But it's been ongoing. Uh, it's been ongoing the last one, 2020, 2022, something like that. So it's still an ongoing series, and it's a fantastic series, guys. I mean, if you read other stuff of, of his, such as the Valens series or uh, Shadow, um, or even Summer's End that just came out uh, from a major publisher, he writes all kinds of stuff, and he writes fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, and this series is absolutely awesome. So, we are back with Will. We're back with Will, and he is once again on the main world for his god. Like I mentioned in one of the other videos, he's kind of drifted away from the the world where he's got his wife Darlene and his children there, to where it's pretty much almost never mentioned. It's mentioned as you know he wants to visit them, or he goes and visits them for a couple weeks, or he visited for a month. Um, but pretty much all the action is generally occurring on his other world, his, main, his God's main world, Felagustius' main world, and his wife Rachel is the queen of this, this empire, and things that are going on in there. Otherwise, it occurs in, in other, uh, other spheres, other planes, but generally he's, he's at this point drifted away from, from the, the human world and pretty much just keeps in the anthropomorphic cat world, which doesn't really come as a big surprise. Um, so, once again, with Will, and this time around, he is, is working with, with, um, working with his empire, but mostly he is working for his god, and now, what their current goal is, spread the word, spread the word. Will is traveling around, setting up new temples. That's the primary driving force of this particular book, is traveling around, helping them set up new temples in some of their conquered cities and, and areas that they've enfolded into the, the, um, into the empire. And, uh, you know, and some negotiations to, to, uh, um, to have a few join, because there's city-states around the empire that are independently governed, but they're allies, they're trade allies, basically, and they're, they're trying to get them to actually join in, in with the empire, but they're friendly enough to Felagustius that they can put, at least put temples in. So, Will is traveling around, kind of doing part diplomacy for his queen and for the empire, and part, um, not really preaching, but setting up the temples for his god. So he's working both for the, the uh, empire and for his god. Of course, primary for his god. So he's going around to set up these, these, these new temples. And that's the driving force, the underlying thing going on below this particular book. Now, of course, we have the bad guys show up a few times. You know, I think the kingdom of Barassa, something like that, major, major slave kingdom. And we have a little bit of conflict going on there. And then, in addition to that, we have a new god showing up. We have a new god showing up, some new people showing up, and it's, you know, min minstrels basically showing up. So we almost have, it appears we have this, like, god of music coming up. But for those people that might have been a part of some other uh, uh, fantasy series, read them, or, or even some RPG series, or even just some tabletop role-playing games in and of itself, you guys might know that, uh, that it is also quite likely, quite possible for the bardic type of people, the minstrel types, to also be thieves or assassins. They definitely have that skill set and that ability. In fact, what better cover is there than traveling entertainer? 
So we have some attacks going on, a few temples, some things going on there that get get pretty intense. Now, of course, Barassus is showing back up, and and his uh, I guess you could say his evil god is also showing back up. Along with that, we once again meet some champions that we have known in the past, and potentially some new champions. We actually get a chance to go back to Earth. Will gets to to go back to Earth. He is attempting part of his his uh, part a, a very brief part that occurs within this book is him once again being loaned out to an allied goddess, same goddess as before, and he's he's vetting potential new champions. So he's going out and he's checking out on these potential new champions, and. Also has a chance to visit Earth, has a chance to visit his wife Darlene, gets to see his sister. His sister, of course, this whole portal thing is, of course, genetic, the ability to see the portal. So he's able to bring his sister with him. And we also have an attack on Will's family and his children. And uh, again, seeing some of the champions, because the champions being immortal, we get even if they get killed, we get to see them again. And once again, we have a... Kind of an Avengers team up, basically, of four champions all showing up at the same time to bring the smack down, and they do. And it gets pretty interesting because, again, we have some new champions showing up, some that are going to gods we did not expect them to go to. We have champions that are quitting their jobs entirely. A whole bunch of things going on between the gods, between the champions. Um, almost a, a, a religious war sort of popping up between a couple of the gods gets pretty darn interesting, especially the way it ends. The way it ends is absolutely fantastic. So, again, guys, if you guys have not read Portals of Infinity, I don't know what the heck you're doing because it is fantastic. It's really good. I am very disappointed in myself for not having started this much earlier. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And after you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons, go check out Portals of Infinity and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye now.